In this segment, we're going to describe the function of Apache Kafka. In essence, we're going to talk about what is Apache Kafka. So Kafka is a publish-subscribe messaging system, rethought as a distributed commit log service. So it's a messaging system, rethought as a commit log service. Apache Kafka is distributed. It's composed of a cluster of servers. The messages that are being sent to Apache Kafka are broken up between the servers in this cluster. So it's not that the message itself is broken up, but that the messages are split between the clusters. As a distributed system, it has the notion of leaders and followers, and we'll go over that in more detail in future segments. Apache Kafka is also partitioned. By this, we mean that logs, which is what the messages end up getting stored in, remember it's a commit log service, are partitioned on a server. Having this partitioning enables Kafka to scale to arbitrary sizes as you can keep adding nodes. This partitioning, as we'll see in future segments, also helps enable parallelism. Apache Kafka is a replicated service. The amount of replication is configurable. The data must exist though on multiple servers. And for data on n servers, n minus 1 can fail and the data is still accessible. So because of this replication, you could lose a server and still have access to the data. Lastly, some common use cases for Apache Kafka may be to collect metrics. Maybe it's for aggregating logs. You could use it very commonly for stream processing. It also still serves a very good use case for messaging system. Website activity tracking is very common, as well as event sourcing. So if you think of these different sources of data, you would have producers of the data. They would all feed in these messages to this Kafka cluster, and then you'd have consumers of the data. So you can imagine your website activity tracking, as someone's browsing your site, you're producing data that goes into a Kafka cluster, and then you have some analysis software that's consuming that data from the Kafka cluster to perform your tracking analysis. With that, we've now covered the general description of the functioning of Apache Kafka and really what Apache Kafka is. In Future segments will go into each of these aspects in much greater detail.